Hey everyone, Tragic here with another lot from Goodwill Auctions. Um, just a few pictures to go off of here, but some kind of interesting stuff. Looks like uh, some Silver Border Jester nonsense here. Uh, maybe a Winter Orb from Re uh, Revised or 4th Edition. And uh, something from the Dark maybe here. Um, there's a balance. So pretty interesting stuff. Um, one that should be fun to go through. Maybe some Mirage uh, era stuff. They didn't sort through it all and show off all the decent stuff I hopefully um, for about four hundred five dollars um, hoping to do pretty good here so let's get into this box Goodwill sent me this extremely long weird box right here so uh, I'm not sure what that was about that's what they had laying around apparently for putting these cards into let's see how it shakes out Got some old deck boxes and some cards and sleeves, which is uh, interesting if they're older cards and sleeves. Let's just take a peek. There we go. Jester's Sombrero. <laughs> All right. Um, from Unglued, I think. Or is that Unhinged? I can never remember. Soulnet. So we've got some fourth edition stuff here. Elkin Bottle. That is a rare. <coughs> Alliances stuff. Nothing major, some circle of protections. I don't know if this would be actually a deck. Knight of the Hokey Pokey, there we go. Alright, so Island Sanctuary, that's a rare. Burgeoning, that's an okay card. Let's get this out of the way and go through this stuff properly. Okay, this is still just a sneak peek. I do want to see if there's anything decent in here before I properly go through this and scan it all up. Burgeoning. Oops. Summer Bloom is okay. It's just a sorcery though. Dervish. There's a Winter Orb. Raiders. Living Lands. Interesting. From 5th uh, edition. Powder, half of the BFM, both halves. There's a Winter Orb from 4th edition, a Reflecting Mirror from the Dark. So that is a card from the Dark that I did see. As Mira, I believe that's a rare. Psychic Network, Shapeshifter, Birds of Paradise. That's decent. So, got our work cut out for us to actually get our value back here. Echo Chambers, okay. There's a Strip Mine. Might have a little ink on it. Hopefully that's on the outside. Very bright colors on these 5th editions. Skeleton Ship. I'm not sure if that's a rare. Rogue Sky Captain is a... Uh, ooh, there we go. Now that's something I didn't expect to see. So we've got a Beta Feedback and a Feldegriff. Mine, mine, mine. That's right. These are all mine now. So, Alright, let's, uh, let's pause here. Reset. And get back to uh, scanning here in a minute and go through this stuff properly. We'll start with all that. Okay. Give these a scan and see how they go. If any of these are worth, hopefully, what I paid for it. Uh, mine, mine, mine. From Unglued? It's actually a buck. So, everything over. 90 cents goes into the buck pile. Feldegriff, a uh, reserveless card that has kind of gone up and up uh, lately. This one's in very, very nice shape. And it is 26 bucks. So there we go. And we'll put it back in the sleeve. Why not? It's starting to look good already. So we got a beta feedback, which I think is just a common. Ooh, it's actually an uncommon 35 bucks. Uh, I would really, really, really love to see more beta. Um, been very interested in trying to uh, get some of a beta collection going here. So that's that's really good. Rogue Sky Captain, buck 86. Skeleton Ship, 8.79. We'll make a little couple little piles here. 
Strip Mine, this is the fourth edition, so this one has ink on it, so that's definitely like, um, otherwise the card would be like kind of moderate play, so that definitely pushes it down to probably heavy play, I guess. I mean, it's perfectly good to play with if that was your plan, but normally it would be like 16 bucks. <clears throat> so we'll put it there. Echo Chamber from Tempest. Only 50 cents, but it is a rare, and I always pull like a bulk rare right over there. Tika's Dragon, I believe, is also a rare. I'm not sure if this is a reserved. Must be, because it's 854. Um, pretty decent there. We've got a Bird of Paradise, 5th edition. Good shape. Good shape. 1935. So these have come up steadily over the years. This is already looking really, really good. Azmira, Holy Avenger. 561. And we'll just throw that there. Reflecting Mirror from the Dark. Uh, this one is definitely like heavy play. Just a couple bucks. It's an uncommon, looks like. Yep. Winter Orb, 4th edition, slight play, 16, so pretty awesome, and have it in from Homelands, I don't know if this is a rare or not, it's an uncommon, so it does not make my pile, or well, it'll go to that pile, Laria Ling, 4th edition, I always have to check the 4th edition in case of the alternates, uh, it's not a beta, sadly. I do hope to find maybe another beta in here somewhere, but it's over a buck, so we'll take that. All right, off to a really good start here. Um, that was kind of the best of that pile that I had looked through before. Raiders, probably not. Order of the Secret Torch, so I don't know every Ice Age rare, but that is one of them, and it's over 90 cents. A shift. That one's under, so that those are going to come off. I'm going to take off the echo chamber as well. Musician. Wow, Musician is actually 475. Great. Living Lands. It's a rare, but it's not anything too crazy. Cycle of Life is over two bucks. So we got the BFM. Let's see how these are going to scan. The big furry monster left 1127, and then the right version is 12. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Shimmer, probably not, right? <laughs> yeah, what I meant to say was yes, I absolutely know that that's a $9 rare. When you play Shimmer, choose a land type. All lands of the chosen type gain phasing. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good way to mess with your opponents there. Interesting. Bronze Calendar, Uncommon Nature's Wrath, $4.99. Wow, it was a really, really good little stack there. And they really added up. Um, and well, I'm only halfway through this stack, in fact. The Jester's Sombrero is great. So when I go through these uh, collections, I, I don't think I've ever found a Jester's Cap from Ice Age, because that would have been the super hot card at that time. And so I'm kind of still looking for one just to have. Soul Echo, unbelievable, 682, this must be one of those weird reserve list cards. I have a ton of the weird reserve list cards, um, I don't remember that one though. Island Sanctuary, not Summer Magic, that would be amazing. That's a 4th edition, it's 380. 
This is really looking good. Burgeoning. Amazing. 29-24. Whenever an opponent plays a land, you may choose a land card from your hand and put it into play. Oh, that's a commander bomb right there. That's your turn one play right there. Uh, great. Elvis Spear Guy, this is a decent card. And by decent, I mean $15, yeah. Because you can pitch it uh, to add uh, mana, so that's always a good way to go about doing things. Priest of Titania, that's a good common. Yeah, nine bucks. There we go. So, Hopefully we get to find, hey, there we go, Verdurin Enchantress from 5th edition that is a rare, and it's a pretty good one, there we go. Stuck together a little bit, there, another Elvish Spirit Guide, very cool. Dang, it was like 15 bucks. So Illusionary Wall, I always, this when I first got into Magic and I opened a pack of Ice Age and I got this card, I thought this was the most amazing. A 7-4 flying first strike. Y you're never getting past this. This would just win you every game. Wait, what's cumulative upkeep? I didn't even play it that way. It was just the best unstoppable card, so. <laughs> now I know better. It's not that great. But I like that card just from the memories. Pendril Mist, hey, I think this is a pretty good card right here. Bam, 2168. So they did leave behind a rare, a good one at that. And at the time, maybe it wasn't quite nearly that much. But there we go, I'll take it now. Uh, let's see, I'll put these here. The Whim of Volrath. Again, I always have to check this. Whew, good thing I checked it. Whim of Volrath is 22 bucks. Great. Change the text of target permanent by replacing all instances of one color word to basic land type with another until end of turn, and you can buy it back. Really? 22 bucks, okay. Keeper of Tressor Horn. There we go. Oh, and a Mystical Tutor. Hey, very cool. 
So the Tressor Horn is a reserve list. Um, to definitely not have any business being worth 266. And a Mystical Tutor does have a reason to be 2366. That's good. Very good. Hey, I'm loving this. We're almost poking even here. Heart of Yavamaya, that's okay. It's one of the decent lands from Alliances. Not the best one. Tower. There we go. Seven bucks for the tower. Jivani. Nature's Lore. Five bucks for a uncommon from Ice Age. Here we go. Helm of Possession. I think this is decent. Yeah, that's good. Um, sure, I'll put it there. And yeah, it looks like we've broken even. So, good times. Strip Mine. So we found one before with ink on it. This one looks a lot better. But being, I think it was like 12 bucks or so. Mirage and Tempest basic lands. We got a unhinged. There we go. This is good. This is good. Uh, un unglued or unhinged? I always forget. I've been, I've been looking at unglued stuff, right? Great. Unglued swamp. Six bucks. And here's a plains. Four bucks. And these are in great shape. These are not played at all. That's that's really good. Um, a lot of times I find these and they've been played with. Of course, you know why would you not? play with them. Actually the last one was the list. Mm, it, it won't give me the other version. <clears throat> Bing, eight bucks. Another swamp. And a mountain. Great. Unglued lands. Very cool. Ashnod's Altar, so the first decent card out of here. Ah, uh, wish it was the original. It's a fifth edition. Still 1185 for Ashnod's Altar, so anything you can just auto sacrifice a creature to, especially to add some mana, uh, seems to be in high demand lately. Well, I see a good card coming up, so it's not not all hope is lost here. And the Glacial Chasm is okay, I think. Yeah, three bucks. Chaos Confetti is a couple bucks too. The terrain. Nope. Ingenious Thief from Portal, which is basically the same as a Flying Man, I think, right? <clears throat> um... Actually, it's got a little extra effect. Winter's Night, that's actually one that has gone up from nothing. 
And Lindell's Volt sees a lot of play in Commander, I think, right? So it's pretty decent. Another Lindell's Vault. Ooh, Island Sanctuary. Fifth edition, though. It always wants to see the summer version. 490. It's a rare, ooh, there's a balance. So this balance was shown in the listing. You can see it in one of the stacks. Um, so, a couple bucks for the fourth edition. I wanna say that used to be a pretty good card when it was back actually seeing some play. Farmstead. Revised reserve list card. Not quite, not quite. So it is one percent of that, or point one percent of that. Four bucks. Tithe. Um, ooh, 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 ooh! Now we're talking. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a little better than I thought it was. It's come up a bit. So this might be a reserve list card. I'm not positive, but at $39.99, that's a bona fide hit right there. And the very next card, Sylvan Library, might just be even better. The fourth edition in perfect condition. $49.99, great. Two in a row. Big time cards. That's great. And the Ivory Tower, which is a little bit, we found one before. I think it was like four or five bucks. Game of Chaos. This I'm pretty sure is a rare. Yeah, three bucks, and it's I think flipping coins and stuff. So seems like all of their good rares are in a different castle. Mystic Remora is good though. Ten bucks for that card now, amazing.
Hey, there we go. Soul Ring from uh, Revised. A living Artifact. So there's a little hope here. 1897. These have just come up. They're in high demand. It's definitely played a little bit. I'll throw it back in there so it doesn't get any worse. Wrath of God for uh, and an Armageddon. Wow, so we're wiping the board here. What are we trying to do to win the game then? So, fifth edition, seven bucks. Armageddon, and it has Mira. <clears throat> Armageddon. It's actually a fourth edition. Five bucks. And Mira. The being we saw her before, I forget how much she was. Blinking spirit. Oh, hey, what was I just talking about? I wanted a Jester's cap. I don't think I've ever found one in the wild here while I've been uh, getting collections from eBay and Shop Goodwill. So this is really cool to me. I like this card. Of course, it was a super hot card back in uh, 1995 when it came out. It was in, I guess, Standard and thereabouts. You can sacrifice it to look through Target Player's library and remove any three of those cards from the game or shuffle that library afterwards. So I'm sure that must have been what this deck revolved around was this card was crack it, send it to the graveyard, and get it back. You know, you could then control out your opponent's deck with this card and your, your wrath spells and things like that. So, that is not that version. This is the actual Ice Age. So nowadays it's only worth about eight bucks. Um, I would venture to guess that at its height, maybe it was about 20 bucks or something. So like back in the 90s to pay $20 for a piece of cardboard would have been pretty crazy especially one that you could just get out of a pack right so that's cool I'm really happy about that and the Sarah Angel is actually um, a revised edition version has, has gone up quite a bit now too so three bucks for that Mystic Remora, there we go, and this one's in great shape. This looks like it came right out of um, the box, probably. So this is a uh, Italian Legends Remove Soul, I believe, right? Sure enough, so. Um, of course, it's Italian, it's a little bit who knows, uh, but I'll take it. What else is left in this box? There is one box left. Box of deck protectors with a little duck on it here. And let's see, can we go with a bang here? Reclamation, four bucks. Dance of the Dead, 875. So there we go. It's still, it's an uncommon. A lot of this stuff was uncommon or common stuff. So here's a Legends um, Italian card. It was Wall of Shadows. 
festering evil. Rats, gatekeeper, skate zombies. That is gonna do it for this collection. So off of about 400 bucks, ended up with 781 and some pretty decent stuff from Magic's history, library and a tithe, some strip mines, a tutor, and had a lot of fun going through it all. Got a big monster and even a beta card. So there you have it. Um, thank you everyone as usual for watching. Hope you had fun. And uh, Tragic MDG, catch you later.